close your eyes and watch your breath. Where do you watch it? Well, anywhere where you can feel in the body. It tells you that now the breath is coming in, now the breath is going out. All those sensations count as breath. They're the energy that keeps the body alive. Give the, and give that energy some space. It's one of the ironies of life is that the breath is the energy of life, and you'd think we would take good care of it, but we tend to take it for granted. It comes in, goes out, whether we look at it or not. And so we have other things to do, other activities to, to focus on, and we leave the breath to its own resources. And sometimes it comes in, goes out well, and sometimes it doesn't. But we don't really know because we're off paying attention someplace else. So give the breath some attention. Show it some care. And John Fuang used to say it's like a, a person who's been looking after you ever since you were a child. And you've always taken the person for granted, never really worried about, well, what does that person want? What's good for that person? How can I help that person? Just take their help for granted. So now it's time to turn and look. And Why is it they've been looking after you for so long? And could they look after you better if you paid them more attention? So give some attention to the breath right now. Watch it and gain a sense of where you're adding unnecessary stress and suffering to your life just by breathing poorly. And this is one of the, the Buddha's main messages, is that we add so much unnecessary stress, um, so much unnecessary suffering to our lives. I mean, there's a necessary stress that comes with the fact that things are impermanent and inconstant. The body gets born, it ages, it's going to get ill, and eventually it's going to die. And this is common all over the world. That stress is unavoidable, but it doesn't have to weigh down the mind. It's the stress that we create ourselves. That's what weighs the mind down, makes life so miserable, makes it such a burden. So learn to see where you're adding unnecessary stress and how you can stop. Look for the cause. When there's stress in the mind, ask yourself, what's going on? What am I hanging on to? What am I clinging to? Because we, many times we don't like the stress and we try to push it away. But that's like going into a kitchen and seeing that there's, the kitchen is filled with smoke and you try to put out the smoke. Well, that's not going to get rid of the smoke. You get rid of the smoke by putting out the fire. So the fire here is a clinging and craving. We want things to be in the way that they can't be. We push things in a direction where they're going to push back. So try to find a happiness that doesn't have to depend on those kinds of things. That's what we're looking for as we meditate. And we do that first by looking at where we're adding unnecessary stress and just dropping the cause, dropping the cause until there's nothing left that the mind is doing to create unnecessary stress. And then you find it opens up to something really special. It's not just stuck with ordinary old pains and pleasures or the pains and pleasures of inconstancy, but it's fun that there's something that lies beyond those. That's when it gets really good. But this is where we start looking. Where, what's the unnecessary stuff we're adding? Because that's what weighs down the mind, but it's also something we can do something about. So focus your efforts right there.